hi lovelies welcome back to my channel and today let's make chinchin if you grew up in nigeria or around nigerians you know chinchin is something you get during the festive period now i want to introduce you to this milky crunchy and delectable chinchin let's go now in a bowl i have some flour and baking powder i'm going to mix that together to mix it all around and then transfer to a large bowl now i'm going to add in my sugar as well as salt and then powdered milk and also cinnamon this is a spice that is not popularly talked about in nigeria but it makes a whole lot of difference in your chin chin now i add in some butter and i use my fingers to mash it up into the floor to get a crumbly texture like you can see now i'm going to add in milk this is whole milk i'm adding and i'm going to mix that around now i'm going to add in one egg and then mix that together now we are just going for a smooth bowl we are not kneading this dough because we are not making bread now i'm going to let that rest on the side for about 10 minutes after that time i'm going to sprinkle some flour on my countertop get some flour on a plate keep that close by because you're going to see the reason for that soon now i'm going to divide my dough into two and then get that on my countertop and then roll it out if you check out my youtube channel you see i have a lot of recipes that i always encourage you to make with children but this is the top tier of children making recipes now you can see how thick the dough is after rolling out and i use a pizza cutter to cut out lines of the changing dough now these lines can be done also with a knife but that's more tedious and takes more time than a pizza cutter but if you don't have a pizza cutter please use a knife so after cutting it out i just take off the end piece that's not necessary and then i cut it the other way now this size is the size i prefer if you want it bigger than this please feel free if you want it smaller than this please feel free but remember smaller size chin chin makes stronger and crunchier chin chin i'm not in the mood to be crunching on chin chin that makes me have headache so i make mine this size and the powdered milk also makes the interior of the chin chin tender then you're going to heat up your oil make sure your oil is hot before you add in your chin chin dough so your chin chin dough does not absorb oil you do not want that at all now i just shake around the dough to make sure they don't stick to themselves and then i'm going to switch to a fork this makes it easier for me to flip the chin chin and keep it moving so that one side doesn't get brown and the other is still undone now if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed why haven't you i hope you enjoy my videos if you have suggestions for me i'm always willing to take them please leave them in the comments below and once your chin chin gets to this amber color that is looking golden brown it's looking beautiful it's looking ready to eat you're going to sieve it out of the oil and get it onto a paper towel to drain off excess oil now you can see the first set i removed look lighter in color than this set that's because i removed that one first and then this one second and at the end of the day this is your cold chin chin absolutely beautiful and when i was a young child whenever we have this type of chin chin one stuck to another we call it twins and we always say it's good luck so i was so happy to see this among my chin chin now you can see how easy this chin chin is to make it's absolutely easy and i hope you try out this recipe please don't forget to subscribe like share comment thank you for watching and see you in the next video